hello friends welcome back my name is pk in this video you will learn in this video you will learn xlookup function with 10 different examples this is a complete guide of xlookup function so please watch this video till the end the first example we will take about the normal xlookup function we have name here and we have sales now we want to get the sales for these two names so we can use here xlookup function and the syntax of the xlookup is first we have to select the lookup value which is this cell comma the lookup array wherein we have to search this name so we can select this range press f4 to freeze this comma the return array we want to return this column which is sales press f4 to freeze this close the bracket and hit the enter we are getting here sales amount for pk we can fill this down so we are getting this here we can get this information what if i move this column here then you can see the result is sting result is still working because it is not by the in column index number we have just selected the different columns okay so now let me give you another example what if we have the multiple lookup values for example here we have date and we have the name and we want to get the sales so you can see in our data we have date column we have name column and we have the sales so for first august person name jack we want to get the sales so we can see here that is coming from here what if i change it to the second august then you can see sale is changed so for the second august for jack sale is this one if i change the person name as pk then this is the second august sale for pk now let me show you how we can put this formula here we can use x lookup lookup value for select the date put here end and select the name comma then we will select this range which is date and this range which is name okay that is our lookup array comma the return array will be sales select this close the bracket hit the enter we are getting here sales for pk on 2nd august if i change it first august then here you can see it is changed automatically now let's move to the example number three here how we can search last to first normally when we put the x lookup it take the first on the top so in this case what we are doing we are searching the last sale of the pk so here you can see the pk is coming in the last this one 4th august that is 67 so you can see that let me show you use the x lookup function here lookup value this one comma lookup array we will take this one we have to search here in the name comma the return array will be this one if i close the bracket and hit the enter it will take the first sale you can see that or if i put here check it is taking the first sale okay so what i have to do i have to put here comma and put another comma and we will take the match and put another comma to put we will search last to first so select that minus one will appear automatically just hit the enter for jack we are getting the last sale so if i come down here that is the last sale for the jack you can see all right friends now let's move to the example number four this is find the latest sale latest sale means whatever sale has been made on the last date by that person so let's say we have taken the person name as pk so the last sale by pk has been made this one that is 67 so 67 is appearing here so we have only four date if i will change this date let's say this one or any other date let's say this one second august for pk that is 30 if i will make it let's say 20th august so that is the last sale latest sale right so automatically it has been changed so any date any last date will appear for that person the sale will appear here all right let me show you how it is working we will use here x lookup function 
and in the lookup value first we will use the max if function max ifs this one in the max if first we will select the max range stat will be our date comma the criteria we will take for pk select this one comma the criteria one will be this one just close the bracket so that will return the maximum date for pk use here end this name comma in the lookup array we will select date and name comma return we want to return the sales so select this close the bracket and hit the enter we are getting here 30 we can see if i will make it second again then you can see we are getting 67 which is this one the last date is this one now all right friends now let's move to the example number five similarly we want to search the first date okay or the earliest sale so first we will search the earliest date and we will use here min ifs function similarly we have used so let me show you from the starting use here x lookup and the lookup value we will use here min ifs this one the minimum range we will take date comma the criteria we will take criteria range we will take this one comma select this criteria close the bracket and we will take this name comma the lookup array will be the combination of date and name comma the return will be this one and just hit the enter so we are getting here two if i will change this date let's say i'm saying okay this is 10 now i'm getting the third year because this second date is the earlier state now all right friends now let's move to the example number six we will explain you how you can handle the errors so let's say if i put the name here something like this which is not found so it should show properly text not has any it is showing not found so what you can do let me show you let's delete this use here x lookup lookup value this one comma lookup array just select this comma return array just select this comma here you can see one option if not found so you can put here blank or you can put here this dash or you can put here like not found close the bucket hit the enter if i put here pk i'll get the result if something which is not available here that will be not found all right now let's move to the example number seven here we will show you how you can create the aging buckets for example we have the age of the persons and we want to show the bucket so we have given here this table for 0 to 20 will be 0 to 20 years and similarly 21 to 40 and 41 to 60 and above 60 okay so what we have done we have used here xlookup function let me show you let's delete this then i will show you let's delete this all and use here xlookup lookup value will select this one lookup array we will select this one press f4 to freeze this comma return array we want to return this one press f4 to freeze this comma and put another comma and we will take here this minus one in the match mode exact match or next smaller item and just hit the enter and just fill this down so you can see we are getting that result all right now let's move to the example number eight here we want to get the dynamic result dynamic result means i want to search the employee id and i want to get the name you can do it in the other way around also like i have the name and i want to search the sales i will put here let's say this name I'm getting here sales so on the basis of columns it is giving the results okay so lookup value is also dynamic result array is also dynamic okay similarly on the basis of employee id also you can get the sales so employee id just input here employee id like this so we are getting the sales now let me explain you how you can achieve this before we 
go into this one uh, we have used the choose calls function so let me explain you so let me explain you the choose calls function first let's use here choose calls and uh, let's select the array so i have selected this array comma if i will take here let's say column number 2 and just close this hit the enter i'm getting the column number 2 in that array whatever i have selected okay and if i put here column number 3 or 4 so that particular column particular column will return automatically now in place of 2 you can use the match function also so let's use the match and let's say i want to search the employee id comma i want to search in this range okay comma 0 so match function will return the number or or the position just hit the enter so we are getting here employee id if i will type let's say name then we are getting here name okay so the same method we have used there let me delete this and what i have done let me delete this and will show you from the scratch i'm just using x lookup the lookup value will be this one the lookup array we don't know in which column we want to search so what we will do we will use here choose calls and we will select this range okay comma now we want to input the column number in which column we want to search so we will use here match function and the lookup value we will select this g6 comma in this range comma zero just close this so that will return our lookup array okay now the return array we will use the same method so either we can copy this formula or let's use again choose calls select this range comma match now this time the lookup value for the match will be this one which is g8 comma select this range comma zero close the bracket one more and if not found you can show here not found and close the bracket hit the enter okay so it is showing the not found just because we have put here name and we are giving the input as employee id so if i will change it as employee id it is 62 just make sure you are giving the correct spelling of your header if you will type here like this employee id without a space it will return that okay and that any is from match function all right friends so that is how you can get the dynamic result using the xlookup now let's come to the next example in this example we will show you how you can use the wildcard match how you can use the wildcard character match so let's delete this and let me show you let's say we want to search we want to get the sales for employee id which is starting with one triple zero one which is this one okay but if you see we have one another id that is one triple zero one and this asterisk sign already available so how we will handle this let's use the x lookup the lookup value let's take this one lookup array let's take this one comma the return array let's take this one and just enter we are getting here 50 which is this one so we are not getting this result okay and in this case if i use the vlookup and i'll select this lookup value and table array let's say this comma 2 comma 0 and just close and hit the enter we are getting here 62 it is we having different type if i want forcefully this result i'm not getting that okay so how we can get this result in the xlookup or this result so we have to decide whether this is the wildcard or normal text so we can use here match type is 2 that is wild that is wildcard character match and put here to enter so now i'm getting here 62 this one okay and if i will remove this 2 and the commas then i will get 50 all right so this is more flexible now let's move on to the next example and here we will show you how you can use the regex match that is latest feature available in the xlookup 
सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल माई नेम इज़ पी के और प्रियंद्र कुमार आई वॉन्ट टू सर्च दी सेल्स वेदर आई टाइप हेयर पी के और प्रियंद्र कुमार इट शुड गिव दी रिजल्ट सो इफ आई टाइप हेयर पी के स्टिल आई एम गेटिंग दैट रिजल्ट एंड यू कैन सी हेयर दैट इज वर्किंग और इफ आई टाइप हेयर लेट से आई एम चेंजिंग दी सेल एंड देन आई एम टाइपिंग हेयर प्रियंद्र कुमार If I'll type only this, then it is saying not found. If I'll type here, then that is working. So we are using the regex match. Let me show you how we can use it. So let's delete this. We can use here x lookup, and uh, the two values which we are taking in the lookup value. Let's select this one, then put here, and we will use this pipeline sign, and we will take this. Okay. comma now this is the simple look up array this one comma return array this one if not found let's say not found comma the match we will use match mode as regex match and just close and hit the enter all right friends so that is returning the values so friends that is how you can use the x lookup function in your daily work these are the 10 useful examples friends i hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos thank you so much for the watching